um, and then I will I, I will make darker the areas like you know where the leaves recedes a little bit. So some leaves has to be uh, a little bit more out, and they are gonna be brighter. And the one and some other leaves are gonna be a little bit more hidden by the other. You know, some leaves are on top of each other. The one on the back are gonna be darker. The one in front gonna be a little bit brighter. That's the idea, at least for now. Just Paula. Oh, Paula. All right, all right. Sounds good. Just Rains. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, mosquitoes. Yeah, no, there are no mosquitoes today so far, at least. How's the zapper lamp thing working out for you, big man? Uh, we are using it in the bedroom. Um, you're using it in the bedroom at night. And actually, I didn't get any bites so far. So I think it works pretty fine. Must I must say that it was a good purchase. It was a good purchase. Oh, that looks wonderful. Thank you, uh, Jim. Um, I really hope that you guys will like the final uh, look. I'm gonna do my best. So I'm painting these leaves. And in this stage, I'm just brightening up some leaves. Investment stonks. Actually, it is an investment. I don't know if I should buy others for different rooms, but I guess that uh, it's better to use the method that Misa has, which is uh, like uh, bringing it around. <laughs> I, I think it's more it's cheaper. <laughs> Just still make your whole background as green. Thank you for your advice. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make sure that I will do what you say. Thank you for your precious advice. <laughs> so I actually that blue light works. And uh I woke up with no bites. The only thing is that if that light by any chance hit a mosquito, the result is literally um, a zap that sounds like a big clap. And if you're sleeping, it literally wakes you up. Uh, hi, good morning, man. I wanted to say that I'm inspired by you. Thank you so much. I think your art are really cool. I hope that one day I can draw like you. Well, thank you so much. I, I wish you can learn to draw uh, as well as you desire. Advice from... Okay, man. Dude, dude the... Okay. Oh, my. I'm sorry. I ha I must... I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, uh, so I want to make sure that in every room of this house there are no mosquitoes. And I bought, like, that blue light. But the problem is that that blue light only works in one room. So every time I move, I change a room, I need to, to get my, the light with me, basically. Oh yeah, we had those lamps at work. It's really noisy. Yeah, it makes like this huge clap. So when you're sleeping, actually, it ends up like waking you up or something. You're just having such creative dreams that mosquitoes want to applaud you. Oh, thanks. I, I, I mean, to be fair, I'm not that affected by mosquitoes at the end of the day, unless they are really, really annoying. You know, sometimes mosquitoes, some mosquitoes are more annoying. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's kind of nice to sleep without being woke up by uh, itchiness.
Okay. So some of these uh, leaves are brighter, like trying to create variety. Ciao. Artsy Chiara. Hey, welcome. I don't know why I don't hear... Usually I have a, a sound when people send messages, but not today. I don't know what's happening with my chat program. Let me try to relaunch. Um, are you Italian? Okay, I will just send a test message. Oh, it's working. Okay, cool. 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 So far, we have Brazilians, Italians, and Myanmar people. <laughs> I think Germans too, if I remember the nationality of some of you regulars. Okay, now let's make a little bit darker. Some of these leaves. to create more volume uh, in this piece. Maybe not that. Maybe like this and then here. All right. The darker leaves will will make the the whole leaves uh like hopefully pop out a little bit more so the goal here is to to create volume and i would like to give that look like she is in the leaves All right, like that. OK, 
Okay, I'm working on a separate layer, so eventually I can change a little bit the hue. If there's something off. Okay, like this. Some of these leaves actually could be darker, like like that. I think it's interesting. So it gives even more volume, I think, like this. Try to keep an eye on the overall picture. You what, what, uh, taking a look at at the navigator. I have no sounds today on my chat. Sorry, guys, if I'm a little bit slower, but my program that normally warns me when there is a message in chat, it's not warning me at all. Uh, test, test, one, two, three. <laughs> People of all around the world. Oh, yeah, that's so nice, though. Uh, Ed, dude, uh, three, four, five, two. Hello, I first found about your art on Twitter. How long have you spent on this art so far? Not that much, actually. Uh, it's I, I'm spending more time recently, like working around my process, um, wrapping things around. But technically, it didn't take too much. It's actually pretty fair, fairly simple pro, pro, uh, illustration. Um, because, you know, it's more of a pattern other than, you know, perspective. Um, I think around four or five hours. Yeah. Yeah. I think four or five hours is fair. Uh, yeah. Italiana, uh, that is fairly good quantity of leaves. It is. I think you have a bigger Asian fan base than you think. Oh, wow. Remember, reminder. That this man decided to draw every single leaf just because. Yo, I wanted to try. I, I mean, I don't know how this piece is going to look. I hope good. I love the hair texture on this. So pretty. Thank you. Thank you so much. You always have nice words, Willie. Appreciate it. I, I don't know how this picture is going to turn, uh, but... For sure, I need to render this background to make it interesting. I was, uh, uh, I don't know. It has to be well rendered or like give some sort of vi vibes. We will see. We will see. The process I'm following, it's very similar to, to what I have when I work in watercolors, actually. So I, I'm overlapping tones. Um, the fun part of using a PC is that I can roll back eventually if I don't like something, but I try to follow a process as close as possible to what I would do in a, in a traditional piece. Oh. So, uh, in this case, working with watercolors. I'm trying to emulate that look a little bit. Okay. All right, all right.
I'm trying to drink as much as possible because literally, like, I feel the water evaporating from my body. <laughs> Between client, oh, it's working in the sound. Kind of random, but it is for some reason. This looks, this look, oh my God. Whoa, this is looking awesome. Thank you, Dos Banderas. How are you? Between client work and home life, I'm struggling so much to find the time to work on what I really like. Kind of depressing. I feel you. I feel you. And I wish you like the best to find, um, a balance that you find more pleasing. Um, what type of work do you do you do for clients? If I may ask, of course, if you want to reply. Sorry if I'm too curious. Hello, Mr. President. Yo, have you seen the, the latest Willy illustration, Banderas? Oh no. Take a look. It uh, looks awesome. Is it on Twitter? Yes. Chills. I do 3D art models for advertisement and fashion primarily. That sounds super interesting. Wait, um. That's super cool though. It it sounds super um, inspiring. I used to work in animation, but have to give up that paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. S sounds like uh, sounds just like about right. Murtha stick, hello, hello, for a more stable income. I, I mean, totally makes sense. Absolutely, 100% makes sense. I totally understand you because, like, I went through the same. It's, uh, it's very tough. It's very tough. Art life, artist life is tough. Um, and actually, I was reading the other day, like, someone that said, I don't want to, like, said, said something very, f like, actually uh, spot on, so to speak. Um they said something like the art artists like have a very tough life because it it's a very it's impossible to for artists to kind of like I, I i can't remember the exact words but it was something along the line of like we need to make literally like um contents for living and we cannot fake it it's not a career where you can find your way in you need to actually produce stuff to make any, like, you know, it's pretty tough. And that's why it's well earned when you actually succeed in art. Uh, it's considered a very big honor, let's so, so to speak. Something along these lines. I can't remember the exact words. But it was something along the lines of, it's so hard to make it in art. And it, it's something so related to the raw skills and talent of the artist. I'm just paraphrasing it's not exact these words but it's so tough and so related to the skills that it's impossible to fake it like really successful artists are there because like of their raw talent and skills something like that i can agree on that i agree on that like it's, there's like that's i think that's why uh, achieving a career in art is to me at least it's a, it's a very um it's a great honor. It's a, it's a great achievement because it's not super easy, right? And uh, and you cannot fake it. Like uh, you cannot force people to like your art or stuff like that. You know what I mean? It was it was a really uh, I don't know. It was something along these lines. But I I think it was a very uh, it was a true sentence. Let's say a true sentiment. Love the warm tones and the shadows, Mr. President. It's a mood. It is a mood. I like that Willie makes these mood, moody, moody illustrations. Also, I don't know why the program now finally is working again, but let's not 
Let's not jinx it. So I can finally hear the sound every time you message. I can read it. Leaves! I'm, I, guys, I'm sorry. For all these leaves. I know that probably you you will not find it very fun to watch. It is what it is. Thank you, Dos Banderas. Your kind words are very much appreciated. Yo, I'm so happy that I'm helping because I, at the end of the day, I'm just helping. I'm just like a in the middle. Basically, I'm the middle man here. Um, but to create connections between you guys, like honestly, I think that's the whole thing. Uh, create connection, creating bridges. Like uh, at at the very end, uh, that's the only thing that stays on these streams. The 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 connections that I create. Let's be real. Like every person that joined my stream during all these years, like every person I left and they didn't connect with anyone. At the end of the day, what stayed? It's all the connections, all people that con knew each other, they met each other, they maybe become friends. Some of them became friends. Uh, and that's probably one of the, to me, one of the biggest achievement. Also on Discord, when I see people knowing each other or like start following or empowering each other, I think that's the, the end goal is, uh, is creating connections. Uh, and I'm very happy to see that this is happening. The words that most people do not understand, they say it's just word, but it can really crush my spirit and my passion. I, I agree. I agree. Oh, this looks so cool. Thank you, uh, Mina. Thank you so much. Where is Brittany? Oh, I already said that. Never be sorry. Never be sorry. Strokes Brittany beard. <laughs> oh, no. Beautiful, isn't it? Indeed. Uh, it's so beautiful, Sims. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. You're very kind. You're very kind. I I am doing my best. It's gonna take a while painting all the leaves and stuff. Um, and I'm also painting this render on a separate layer. So, for example, I feel like this should be a little bit brighter. All this stuff, just a bit like that, probably. I was a little bit too dark. Eventually, I will go darker uh, in a second moment on a second round. For now, I feel like a first stage of darkening, so to speak. It's uh, it's more than enough. It's really beautiful. Uh, Seraphi, Seraphim Soares. Thank you so much. Life update. It's my graduation day tomorrow. Yo. Yo, congrats. Like, I'm so happy for you. Today I eat pancakes, by the way. I just wanted to say that because I feel like the pancakes in this moment in my stomach are like fighting. I think uh, I should not eat pan too many pancakes. <laughs> congratulations. Yo, congratulations. Speaking of achievements, have you seen that uh, our friends Mikey, Mikey Mega Mega got 1 million of subscribers on YouTube? Wow. That's a crazy achievement. Thanks everyone. Yo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Shout out Mikey Mega Mega. Absolutely. Shout out Mikey. Great, great artist, great content creator. And his streams are fun, 100% fun. He's like, his humor is nonstop. Like, his streams are always interesting. Very good. Really good content creator. Oh my god, I love your art. A dream of drawing like that. Thank you so much, April. Thank you, and thank you for your first time in chat.
Yo, Matt! Thanks for being here. This is Ivy. I'm doing my best to, to not spend too much time on this. How are you, Matt? Guys, Matt is an amazing person helping. Uh, work, he works also for DeviantArt and he helps me a lot. So great, great, great. Very, super nice. Also, I love that photo yesterday uh, on Twitter that you posted of uh, you and your wife. I love the, the shirt. You're welcome. Hey, thank, thank you, April. Thank you. Wife is amazing. Absolutely. Love the mood of the photo. Um, oh my god, there are so many leaves in this picture. <laughs> I think I went a bit overboard. I'll do my best to finish by today. Focus. Woo! Willie, um, by the way, Matt, Willie is uh, is posting a lot on DA recently. Keep an eye on that one. Some say Sims is still coloring Ivy using uh, to this very day. I I I, f I feel that I feel that is possible. Look, I'm pretty fast. But uh, this the, uh, for this, there is nothing to go fast. It's just it takes the like you know what I mean. Like, I cannot go faster than this. Maybe in, with an AI would be possible, probably. Some sort of AI. It's been forty eight years. <laughs> I'm I'm try, like I feel like this for this type of parts, like literally an AI could help a lot. Like you say, okay, fill all these parts because literally there's, it's like, do you know that in, in the, in the Renaissance, a lot of sculptures, uh, famous ones, uh, they, they didn't sculpt the entire, uh, sculpture. Um, like for example, some famous sculptures like, uh, I don't know, Canova, for example. And, um, they, they let their assistants to sculpt up to a certain point because actually it was just about carving the shapes, the basic shapes uh, and, and the rough edges. And then after, uh, w once at that point, like when, when the rough edges were made, they finished it uh, with, the, with the final, you know, touches. Um, what's your username? Will they give the username to Matt? So you're going to be in the radar. No, seriously though, uh, Willy, Willy is a is a is a young new artist that I'm keeping an eye on. <laughs> I'm trying to push. So, so yeah. Like apparently in the uh, the concept of not wasting lots of time on parts that are repetitive it's a thing since like renaissance uh that's true about 10 artists collaborated with michelangelo to create the sistine chapel wait really i didn't know that michelangelo was more like a brand <laughs> that's fun though i didn't know that but it's a, it's a cool to know I thought only about sculptures. I didn't imagine also painters, but actually makes sense. Like, why wasting a lot of time on parts that literally everyone can do, right? Like the part, the the, the interesting part is mostly that the the master art. Uh, not, not that I need that. <laughs> I'm just saying though, in my in my little like uh, artist life, there are a lot of parts where definitely technology could help. For example. If I was using a certain type of style with lines a little bit bolder, I could use the fill tool for these parts, for example, to speed up a lot. Unfortunately, though, I can't because like these lines are very um, like a, a grainy. So the 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 fill tool, I don't feel like it will do a good job. 
Five readers from Med Skull Design have joined. Yo, thank you so much for your raid. Willie, now I'm following you and you can't hide anything. Let's go! Thank you, Willie, for sharing. Michelangelo was the supreme of his time. <laughs> so true. I think that a lot... Um, also, like, the must... Michelangelo's master, I think... Was, was, was super popular. Yeah, I would like to know Willie's DA too. Absolutely, go, go. Check it out. It's Willie Waffles 06. The stream was so good. Finished another page of my comic, so I'm very pleased. If you want to share here, Med Skull, go for it. Link. Uh, hook me up with some link. Is this correct? Did I say something inconvenient? I don't know if that's... I, tr I tried to speak normal English, but I don't know if I succeed. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out again, big man. Hey. You know, when I can, I like to shout you out, guys. Well, now that you have core, you can schedule out your posts. Let's go. That's my ongoing comic. Let me take a look. Uh, it's on Tapas. What you said made perfect sense. Thanks. I, I, I tried to learn the um, uh, idiomatic sentences from, you know, streamers or... People that I watch, uh, idiomatic, idiomatic. Because there are a lot of sentences that literally, there, there is only one way to, to say it. And, and uh, it's uh, hard sometimes to remember. Anyways, this is the Med Skull Design comic. Uh, the link is in chat, is on tapas. Uh, I, I don't have a tapas, but this looks like, Super interesting. Uh, wh where? Wait, how do I use though? This is a cover. I want to read the, the the next page. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay, prologue page one. Oh, this is so well done though. I love the aesthetic. It's like a stickers aesthetic, right? Is this how they call it? Um, it's very cool, guys. Subscribe, I guess. That's how you say. Oh, it's here. Chapter one, chapter page two, page three, page four. Okay, okay, I got it. I never used tapas, sorry. Uh, but I love the aesthetic. Um, and thank you, Asgard, by the way, for your first message in chat. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, Matt is uh, is amazing. Really, really. I don't even know how he does all the things that he does at the same time. Like, I don't even do one, one tenth of what he does every day. Very hard worker. Your stream is adv advised to me under English Italian. So I assume you're Italian, right? Si. <laughs> si, io sono italiano. You have no accent and I can't tell. Well, I mean, I do have an accent, but thank you so much. No, I, I think I do have an accent, um, but I do my best to improve day by day, so to speak. Hello, everyone. Oh, welcome, Arela. How are you? Thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Uh, do, Skull? I'll go for Skull. I woke up at 4 a.m. Well, that's not possible for me, but that's that's good. Like, I wish. But seriously, though, you do a lot of stuff. Like, I, I mean, you post on social media, you contact people, you send email. I seriously, um, I mean, I, 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 I tried to do stuff like that, but I'm really not good. Like, I have a very, um, like, I have, I have a very limited amount of stamina and, like, also, um, like, you know, I, I, I don't know, you do a lot of things, hard worker, I don't know how to say that, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's incredible. You sound very northern Italian, well, you never heard me speak in Italian, 
perché c'è un accento del sud incredibile. <laughs> People get hung up on being pedantic with English, but language is, is fluid, so people should chill. Now, I think that actually every person that has been on my, has been on my stream, um, they've always been very nice toward my uh, accent, I, I must say. Sotto Roma di sicuro, Napoli. Um, I have a limited amount of stamina. Also, Sims, let me paint this wall of ivy. I know, right? Like, I don't know why. I think. Okay, listen, listen. I think that art is the only thing that I can actually grind on. I don't know why. I go like, it's kind of like a... I don't know how. It's the only thing I can grind on. Like, I think it's just because it's my passion. You know what I mean? Like, I, I do without too much effort. But for example, when it comes to writing stuff, sending email, um, uh, recording videos, I get exhausted if I do too much of that. I think the only thing I can do is drawing uh, in terms of for a long time, I, I mean, you know what I mean? It's it's the only thing that, I think because it, it's rewarding for me, um, I, I, that's the only thing that I find rewarding. And, uh, and, and I don't, it doesn't make me tired. <laughs> oh man, true, it is true though. <laughs> it's nonsense. Se Napoletano, veramente, si. Forza Napoli. Uh, dai, yeah. Oh, so you're, you're from Rome, Chiara. Yeah, I in Italian I have the the the, the most southern accent. I speak in dialect 99% of the time. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm so bad. Uh, like my accent is super strong. No, Milano actually, but dai, it's universal. Uh, I mean, true though. As long as you guys don't start... Okay, okay, for all the non-Italians, <laughs> for everyone that it's not Italian, there is this TikToker that... I mean, I don't think it's a TikToker. It's a trend of people in Italy that they, they are using a, a new... I don't know if this is a thing that happens in, in, in other countries too, but here in Italy, there is this trend nowadays of these people that um, is speaking with a, a new type of accent. They, they, they give it a name and it's literally not even, in some moments, it's not even close to Italian, but it seems like a lot of young Italians, like in school, I don't know, or something like that, are talking like that. Like they're using this accent. I'm talking of Corsivo, guys. Yeah, did you hear that? It drives me nuts. I know that I'm not the only one, but I, I don't want to be a boomer. But honestly, I, why do you do that? I, I mean, it's okay. I, I mean, I don't want to judge, but literally drives me nuts. I can't, it's, it's, it's stronger than me. I don't understand why they do that. It's incredible. I don't know how to explain to non-Italians, but literally they invented an accent for in order to speak Italian, some kids, and now they are speaking with this accent. It's kind of like using a slang that is not even Italian anymore, and it's very annoying. Does it happen in other countries too? I think it's supposed to be a parody of the rich Milanese. Uh, Milanese? Uh, Milanese? I don't know how to say in English, actually. Girl way of talking. But why? I mean, I know that... My dialect, Napolitan, is definitely not even close to Italian. But I don't know why. It sounds even that. And trust me, I don't even like my own dialect. Like, I know that it's a little bit strong. But at least sounds less wrong than that to me. <laughs> Holy. Uh, Giltia. Hi. Hello. And Tom. Hi. Aru Arucus Art, hi, welcome and thank you for your first time in chat. 
Guys, thank you so much for joining. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Anyways, yeah, there's this accent that now all the kids are using. It's so weird. Uh, it's one of those things that makes me feel like I'm old. Because when I heard the first time, I was like, what is this? And then there were millions of people that were co uh, leaving comments and stuff. And I was like, wow, I'm really behind. Sup, Mr. Rivers. Welcome back. The squad is almost all here. Thank you so much for joining, guys. I really appreciate it. Anyways, look, look, we're not that far, actually, from finishing the first, let's say, wave of callers. I, I'm already half, halfway there. At least on the left side, it's almost done. Then we have to make the right side, and then the second wave with a darker green or something. And then it's done. I mean, quote unquote done. Black Foxy subscribed to tier one for two months, currently on a two month streak. Thank you so much for your sub, appreciate it. It's, it's, it's a direct sub, appreciate it, thank you. It's very nice of you. Thank you so much. She's so pretty. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, John is at it again. It's John. Gifted 20 tier 1 subs. Thank you so much. John, no. <laughs> oh my. Thank you so much. You're too kind. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I will quickly go through every person that got the subscription gifted by John. So, um, Matt, Barilio, Patchman, Geralis Matos, Nea Kamakiri, Chili Cayenne, Willowry, Snickers, Pilgerzinho, uh, Gryphon, Griffon Blade, Leo, Bill Nash, Sof, Sosa, uh, Flip Chris, Tendas, Hope Drone, Agnaldu, um, Kamina, Elise, and Flo Pulpy. Yo got a free sub. Gifted by John Steed that so far gifted 240 in this channel. I appreciate everything you're doing. But don't spend any more money. Thank you so much. Don't spend any more money, please. Thank you so much. It makes me very self-conscious. Thank you so much for all your kindness, though. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so not used to this. Thank you so much. Based John, Giga Chat John, absolutely. I know it was going to happen anytime soon, really. Wow, thank you so much. That's a lot. That That is a grande, grande John. Thank you so much. John is like half time bonus. Yo, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's It's amazing, but oh my God. Um... Giltia, hell yeah, pizza is my favorite food ever. I love pizza. John the Goat, absolutely, Asgard. Dama, Dama Ramu, wow. Hey, thank you for your first time in chat. Joe Dude Pog, absolutely, Pog moment. 240 gifted subs in total. Clap, absolutely. John, you dropped this crown. <laughs> oh, my hype train. I don't have, I don't think I have hype trained on, but you deserve it, Sims. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you, John. I, I don't know what to say. Every time it's it's like it's it's like I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's incredible. It, and it's gonna help me a lot. Um absolutely. 
Once you see John active in chat, it's just a way to hype. Wow. Thank you so much, John. Like, it, it's, it's incredible. Thank you. Great, great uh, support. Pizza funds. Hell yeah. I mean, for sure, I'm going to spend some <laughs> for pizza. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And yeah, guys, uh, enjoy your sub. Okay, what you get when you sub, when you're a subscriber, is the emote. You can use the emotes. And I think, actually, I mean, I think the emote is pretty cool. But probably the most interesting thing is that you should have an ad-free experience on stream. I feel like nowadays, here on Twitch, in this economy, <laughs> Twitch with all these ads, like ad free, it's kind of like probably the m most important benefit, if anything, of being a sub. I'm not sure if you don't get any sub, you should get zero subs, uh, zero ads when you're sub. Am I right? Time for more cozy moments. Yo! All my emotes. I think they're pretty nice though. No more TV commercials. Do you know that Willy doesn't have any commercials? Because apparently, like, if the companies that buys commercial on Twitch don't have rights in a certain country, they cannot make, like, Twi Twitch doesn't, doesn't make any commercial for them. Also, two panels? Wait, what? what what did when did I even switch that? I forgot. Bye bye capitalism. <laughs> Look, I think the uh, with the ads, it, it's it's Twitch. Uh, basically, I don't know. Like, I'm sure that they will change a bit the way it works. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. That's that's all I want to say. It's that I feel like they pushed. Uh, hard on the ads and unskippable and a lot uh also youtube has but i feel like they're less invasive i don't know i feel like it's gonna change at some point but so far i feel like the point is if you sub you don't get uh ads if you don't sub you will get more ads that basically provide uh, some income for the streamer as well so i guess it's in a way or another you still provide uh that's why I think lurkers also uh, support, like are a huge support, for example, because like even if uh, no chat, not like you know what I mean, just watching ads, for example, helps for partners at least. I'm not sure for affiliate, uh, but I feel for partner uh, watching ads, it's kind of like uh, supporting the channel, kind of. Um, that's why we always have one or two the same commercial. I guess that's why, right? I also pretty much never get ads. Well, maybe you're in a place where basically there is no company that has ads. You know, let's say you live uh, in Italy and uh, Walmart doesn't exist and all, only Walmart bought Twitch ads. Potentially in Italy, we will get no ads. You feel me? I feel guilty having ad block. Nah, don't worry. Absolutely, it's, it's it's like, it is what it is. I use Adblock too. I, I mean, lots of people use Adblock. If I want to support someone, I will do anyways. But like, it's not that I'm going to watch every single ad on every single platform. I mean, right away, uh... I guess a lot of people use Adblock. The point is, I was watching Asmongold the other day, and I think uh, among all the rants that to me... <laughs> okay, I want to start to... I want to just say that the, on one thing, I think he was right, and that unfortunately, I feel like on the long run, uh, companies will figure out how to avoid people skipping ads. Realistically. Uh, they will figure out how to avoid people skipping to like, you know, they will make sure that people can't skip ads anymore.
Hello everyone, welcome Avigal, welcome back. Giltsia, true debt, hydration is very pog, drink your liquids people. Absolutely, absolutely. I am literally am losing like probably a liter of water every five minutes in this room. Gotta go now. Thank you for staying, Kara. appreciate it. Hope to see you back, uh, but I'll be back. Have a good one. Yo, thank you, thank you. Uh, don't speak too much, um, Corsivo. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, catch you next time. Have a great day. I, one day I will learn to speak like that, though. One one day I will do. I will. I will learn to speak like that. I feel like I will. Ch I mean, I I want to be like the cool kids. <laughs> See, I gotta. It's nice to have Italians sometimes. Not gonna lie. It's nice to have Italians. Corsivo. Yeah, I will learn Corsivo one day. Even though it gives me the heebie-jeebies when I heard it. I need to put the glasses on, though. Like that TikToker. The glasses on, long hair. No, <laughs> glasses on, though. It's important because I need to look like a teacher. <laughs> The first time that I've seen that TikTok, I was like, what that what did I just witnessed? What what did what happened to me? Did I just witness the most annoying thing ever? I think that I was not the only one though. It was very, 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 very annoying. But now I, I f the more the more I think about it, more th the more I think that I, I, I maybe it's me though. Maybe I am old. Maybe I don't understand. Residents of the Gelatino country feels okay, man. Speaking of Gelatino, right now I literally would take a bath in Gelatinos if I could. I'm smelting. Never felt cringed so hard in my life. Same. Yeah, but isn't because I'm old? Because I cringed too. I thought that at first impact, I was like, oh my God, this is so cringe. Please stop. I want to destroy my phone. But on the long run, I keep thinking I should be open-minded. Maybe this is how my parents felt when I had my, I don't know, my face uh, as an emo face or stuff like that. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just being old, basically. Getting old aware. <laughs> <laughs> True though. It's super aware though. Oh my. Like you know what I mean? Some some trends like um like wait, what's the what's that word that a lot of kids in America use now? And also, I guess uh, in uh, in England, um, that word that every kid use to say "cool." Uh, what's the word? It's not based. The other one. That there is another word. I can't remember. Dapper sheesh. No sheesh. I know. No, it's like, uh, sheesh, true though. It's much more intrusive than slang. Yeah, literally changed the Italian. Woke? No, it's like, but, but, be, but. oh my, I have it. Uh, it's like, out of topic, but I salute your patience for the big sheesh. <laughs> no, wait, uh, it's, uh, it's a word that, wait, 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 it's not, it's like based, but it's different. It's not based, it's, it's similar to based. Uh, it's not bonkers, it's, uh, I think it starts with B. No, no, it it was like, oh my god, that was so weird. Weird. 
Blue pill. <laughs> Blue pill is fun, though. No, it was not. Wait, wait. I, I, I will figure. God damn it! I had it on my. <sighs> I hate when that happens. No. Bussin! Yes! <laughs> yes, it's Bussin! Yes! Oh my god, I had it on my... Yes, Bussin! <laughs> it is Bussin! <laughs> why, why they say it every... Not based Giga Chat. No, but seriously, like... Bussin is the new word I hear 10 million times per day on every streamer, every Twitter I follow. I mean, I follow a lot of streamers all on Twitter. I follow a lot of, you know, Twitch culture. And I don't know if it's only on Twitch, but like everyone is using that word uh, at everything. Holy moly. It's <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's so funny, though. So I, I I feel like okay now I'm not English like I speak a very bad English but my point is do, how do you feel about this slang like for example Matt like I feel like you you understand what I mean like how do you feel about this weird slang I stepped away and came back to Boston what did I miss like I was talking about new slang and how like sometimes it's odd. And, um, like, I, I feel like my first impact every time in Italian, for example, I hear a new slang, I'm like, oh my God, what is this? So annoying. But at the same time, I think, well, maybe I'm just old. Maybe I don't understand. Maybe if I was younger, I would be, I would be like, wow, this is so cool. So I try to stay open-minded. That's what I'm trying to say. So how do you feel, guys, about words like bussin'? Used every five seconds. I'm super old. Kids get slang. I, I look. I feel like I feel like it's important to stay open minded. At least in Italian, you know what I mean. Like uh, for me, because otherwise I start like I feel like I I would start to speak like my parents. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. I I like to stay, uh, you know, open minded. As long as I can hear it, I don't need to speak it. True though. That's so true. Older Sims will be like, kids, get out of my yard. Yeah, pretty much. I'm getting there. But sin I can get behind, but not 24-7. Everything else, I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> Sims, check music and videos in Discord. Okay. No, but seriously though, I don't use a lot of slang. I barely can speak English, but I notice that there are trends going on sometimes. What is this? Wait. <laughs> no, I have a bad feeling about this one, but let's give it a spin. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so hot today. I feel like the heat is uh, affecting me. Oh my god. That's how I feel I sound like if I try to speak like that though. Like that's probably how I come up uh, like how people sees me if I try to, to say stuff like that. Hi gamers. Oh, look we have here. I'm sweating. I'm in a cold bath with a hair mask. What's heat? Oh, well, I'm literally sweating, standing perfectly still. 
Missä? Oh my god. Here I I was thinking of buying a thermometer. Um no, but seriously though, like slang is uh is one of those things that I I I like to to stay up to date. But sometimes I don't really understand. Like I, I feel like I'm, I'm. I, I, that's that's an indicator for me that I'm getting gold. Um, I'm trying to lighten my hair so I have so much stuff in my hair. It's safer to be in a bathtub. I see. I've been taking a cold shower because it's been hot. I I, I feel you. Literally before the stream, I showered. Now probably I need another shower already, and it's just like. One hour in the stream. Two panels. Oh my god, why I keep forgetting this? <laughs> Thank you, Willie. I should make some sort of I, I still my dream is to make an interactive control that you guys can use to change the view from uh, two panels or one panel, stuff like that via chat. That would be so, so cool. Do you know what would add in this piece? Uh-oh. What? I feel like this is a... Uh, more leaves. Ah, uh, thanks. I knew that that was a meme. That there had to be a meme. Who? Which people see you like that? Not me. Oh, thank you, Brittany. You're too nice. You're not old. You're in your prime. Oh, thanks. Oh, man. Anyways, like, yo, it's taking uh, forever. I know that this is not, like, what, like, it's not the most exciting part of the process, but I feel like it's it's really making the piece pop pop out. Oh, what happened? Sim said twenty three subscribed with Prime. Thank you for your Prime sub. Appreciate. It. Not enough leaves. Never enough leaves. Apparently, this is why you have mods to remind you of things. I, I guess. Tr 